for 28 years, you have welcomed David into your homes, treating him like he treats us, like family. One viewer wanted to recognize that with a very special message for David. Hi, everybody. Governor Roy Cooper here. Congratulations to David Crabtree on becoming a member of the Order of the Longleaf Pine, our state's highest honorary society. David, you're joining the company of so many remarkable people who've dedicated their lives to our great state. For more than 25 years, you've kept North Carolinians informed about important events that have shaped the triangle, our state, and our nation. And you've done it with courage, understanding, and compassion. From the pandemic to elections to severe weather, you've covered it and provided families with the accurate information they need to know. You've been a shining beacon for the First Amendment. David, thank you for your friendship, leadership, and commitment to the state of North Carolina. Welcome to the Order of the Longleaf Pine. Thank you, Governor. And here it is, the wow. state's highest civilian honor, the Order of the Longleaf Pine. In recognition of everything that the governor said, all of your dedication to our community. What a privilege. Uh, governor, thank you, everybody in this state, everybody who's received this. Uh, I'm not deserving of this, but I accept it, and I'm humbled beyond words. It's quite Believe an outstanding me. group that you join. Yes. Well, when he moved onto the WRL anchor desk in 1994, after Charlie Gaddy decided to retire, David set on a path of telling stories that touched us all. All of these lines across my face Tell you the story of who I am So many stories of where I've been And now I got to where I am So many stories. From Tennessee to Colorado to North Carolina, David told stories through his eyes. Storytelling we not only see, we feel. <laughs> his career spanning 40 years, 28 of them with our WREL family. David's travels enabled us to experience the most significant moments in modern history. The medical team did not think they would be that busy. Were they ever wrong? His passion of storytelling always fueled by what matters to you. Everything we do revolves around the people who live in this community. Everything. The eye of the storm is still about two and a half to three hours away. We were witnessing this news happening with us at exactly the same moment. Dennis has already proven to be deadly here in North Carolina. His compassion always on display. In 2015, David was presented with the Silver Circle, honoring 25 years of journalistic excellence. He's been recognized with 16 Emmys and countless other awards. Even with all of his accolades, his greatest pride is being a father and grandfather. Here we go. Wow. Is your desk a mess? <laughs> he laughed with us. Now let's take a look at Deb's desk. No. When not all the news was sad or serious. <laughs> but we're thankful to have it. <laughs> we are WRAF. And Focus shed a done. tear when the stories <laughs> moved him. None of us are robots. We are very, very touched by that. David has spent years serving all of us, writing more chapters every day in his remarkable career. So many stories. But now is the time.
those pictures and videos and seeing you smile just means the world to me. And just knowing that you're happy and you will be happy also means the world. You know, all of that just scratches the surface of where you've been and the effect that you've had on so many people. People who are watching right now, they see what I see, a hardworking, caring, sensitive man. And this is a celebration of a career we have all admired every single day you've been here. I've known you every single day yes, of have. these 28 years. Yes, you have. Your passion for what we do, how you feel about this community. And with me, you have been one of my greatest gifts and I will always, always be grateful for the rest of my life and, and just simply thank you, David. Well, Deb, I can't tell you how difficult this is. When I arrived 28 years ago, I would never have realized how connected I would be to such a warm community of people. Many times I've been humbled by your kindness of the hearts, most importantly, of everyone in this building, my coworkers, and none more important and closer to me than my dear friend, Deborah Morgan, and my predecessor, Charlie Gaddy, the person who paved the way for me and so many others. For 50 years, we occupied this space. Tomorrow, I will wake up in my new life full of yet to be realized opportunities and empty of your company, yet with so many memories. You've helped me through some difficult times and shared the joyous times in yours. Some people judge their lives on what they do, others on who they are. I hope you've judged me on the friends I keep, my precious family, and how enriched I am from just knowing you. Every one of you are wonderful viewers because you have mattered more than anything. Without you, we would not exist. You say that all the time. People matter, words matter. Always. And you have mattered mm. so much. You know, your job isn't quite done just yet. There's a crowd outside of family, friends, and coworkers, and they're gonna be waving to you, hopefully any second here. And you have some surprises. There are some <laughs> family in this group, David. Congratulations, job well done. We love mm -hmm. you.